This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this uh, 2015 Winnebago ultralight travel trailer. The model number is 30 RESS. Okay, so this is a how-to to, uh, excuse me, a how-to video. This is not a floor plan. It just I'm going to show you some of the features and how they work. Okay, so you have power stabilizers. Uh, so one switch controls both rear right here you see. very simple you don't lift the trailer with them you just take the movement out of it keep it from uh, keep people from getting seasick um, you have a slide topper a power awning with LED strip this is just a signal out for a TV and uh, power this is your front stabilizer. Okay, this is a quick connect for the LP system. So if you if you want to add a you know what appliance, a, a griddle or a grill, you can plug it in right there. Just make sure you get the one that's the right pressure for a travel trailer. Okay, it's a low pressure system, um, so keep that in mind. But that's where you can plug it in. Crank wise, you have. Uh, Two different cranks for it. The the main here. Let's look here. This this one here with the cylinder and a, a slot cut in it. That one can be used in case you're. Let's see if I can get under here. In case your your um, stabilizers, your power stabilizers stop working, you can put that. You see, there's a, a pin with a or a pin or shaft with a pin through it, so that cylinder with a slot cut in it will fit right over that. You can actually crank the stabilizers by hand if you have to in emergency. Okay. All right. So this is your hitch. It's a Husky Centerline weight distribution hitch with built-in sway control. We'll show you how that operates when you pick up. You have a brand new deep cycle marine battery. You have two LP tanks full. Power tongue jack. This slide room has a slide topper on it also. Uh, here you have your dump hose. This is a reducer for your shore cord. You reduce it from a 30 to a 20. Um, this is just a coil sprayer to hook to your spray port. Okay. Alrighty. These are your dump valves here. Black is uh, toilet water and waste. Gray is sink and shower water, of course. Um, this is your um, this is your water heater. This works on either gas or electric. Uh, the thing to remember with this, I'll show you the switches when we get inside. But the thing to remember with this is you um, never run it without water in it. You're going to wind up draining it. There's the drain plug right there. You'll wind up draining it in between camping trips a lot if there's a long period of time um, so the water doesn't get all stale. So uh, just keep in mind you always refill it before you before you turn it on, okay? This is the service panels for your refrigerator. That's a vent for your range hood. It's got two little latches on it. Just make sure the latches are open so that that baffle can flap freely when you're venting. You have a 50 amp power cord. So you have your 50 amp cord plus we give you the reducer to reduce it down to a 30. Like I said, another one to go down to a 20 just in an emergency. You can really only operate your lights and basic things on 20 amps, but nevertheless. Okay, so this is your water station here. Okay, so that, that coiled sprayer I showed you will hook on right there. Now, uh, if you look here, you see this drawing. When, when this blue valve is vertical, you, you have city water hookup. So you'll just uh, hook the water right to here, and you're all set. Now, if you're camping someplace without city water, you can pre-fill your fresh water tank. You would move this valve to the horizontal position, which is like this, right? And then you can fill the tank. So keep that in mind. 
Uh, you can fill the tank, take the water with you. There's an onboard pump. I'll show you the, where the switch for the pump is also when we get inside, all right? And this, last but not least, is a black tank flush here. So after you dump your black tank, uh, you can leave the valve open like it states on this sticker here. Always leave your valve open. Uh, then you can hook the hose of the dump station right on here, turn it on and spray out your black tank and it cleaned out really good. So that's another, another uh, feature. Um, I suggest if the, if, the, if the dump station has a working hose, then, then do it. Okay. You have a ladder so you can inspect your roof. Come around and go inside here. We also have outside speaker. Okay. So, this is your control panel here. Uh, your slide rooms here, your power awning. The power awning now, uh, never leave it out unattended, as you can see. You always want to roll it in when you're not using it so it doesn't get damaged by the weather. To turn your water heater on electric, you go like this. To turn the gas on, you go like this. Um, your water pump is right here that we talked about. Okay, you use that to pump water out of the fresh water tank. You also can use it to winterize the trailer. All your lights are here. Okay. And then you can check your levels here, battery charge, so on and so forth. Your thermostat is here. You just turn it on here, fan, cool, uh, and furnace, like so, and then off. Very simple to use. Okay. Um, you have some remotes here. This is your fireplace remote here. That's for your sound system, and that's a TV remote, I believe. Yes. So, come over here. See what we've got here. So this this system plays discs, obviously. Um, it's from 2015, so let's see if it's got Bluetooth on it. I don't know. It's, yeah, it also has Bluetooth, and you have a USB drive, AM, FM radio. You can select your speaker zones. So um, that's a, a good option. Your fireplace. Um, let's see here. We'll go to from the end. L means low fan. H is high fan. Now it's really kicking them out. And of course, um, you can shut the fan down. Um, you also can adjust the intensity of the fire. Like so. So there's a lot you can do with it, okay? Um, I'm going to shut it off because it's warm here. Now, your TV works like any other TV. I'm, all I have to do is see what kind of bracket it has. I think it's just a fixed bracket, feels like. Okay. Um, of course, recliners. This is a, let's see what we've got here. This is a jackknife sofa, it looks like. So, jackknife's flat into a bed. Microwave works like any other microwave. This is your range hood. Remember I told you about opening that, that baffle on the outside so when you run the fan it'll vent to the outside. You also have a light. Your range. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. I might have to set the uh, set it down. Oh I got it. Okay. Alrighty so this is your sparker. You turn it clockwise to spark. Um, you have your three knobs for your three burners and then the oven, of course. The oven down here looks like it's never been used, which is typical. We see that all the time. But there's a pilot light back there at the bottom. So you're going to go to pilot and then you depress it. Keep it depressed and then you light it. Once you see the flame light down here, you just hold it in for another 10 or 15 seconds to heat up the thermocouple and then you go to operating temperature, right? Um, when you shut it off, the flame goes out, but so does the pilot light. So you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Let's see if he's got any gas turned on here. Uh, it doesn't sound like it, so... Um, the gas is shut off at the front right now, but um, it's all very simple. Turn this clockwise to spark it. Your refrigerator is a gas absorption refrigerator. 
So the thing to know is that it'll run on um, 110 AC or it'll run on LP gas. So we have it on auto right now and auto is the way you want to keep it most of the time. The reason you use that because it means auto electricity. So it'll always seek out electricity uh, and if you can't find it, it'll switch over and light on gas, right? Or if you have a power power failure in the middle of the day or the middle of the night, let's say you're not at the you're not at the campsite or you're sleeping, uh, it'll sense that and it'll automatically switch over to gas. So that's the way to keep it. You can change it to just gas there, right? But if you don't have 110 AC, it'll always switch over to gas for you. Okay. The other thing to remember is if you see that wire coming up and it goes into that clip there, that plastic clip, actually it's above it, that, that's your thermocouple. If you look at that sticker, it says the higher you go with it, the cooler it gets, so you're going to want to have that up all the way, almost always. That makes it as cool as possible. That's usually how you're going to operate it. Okay. This device here is your power converter. This converts AC to DC power. So, we just got to get it to open, that's the trick. There we go. So, you have regular 110 AC circuit breakers like you'd have at home and they're all labeled here, right? So that's your distribution center. Then, you have, um, you take the, it takes the AC and converts it to DC power over here. So you got 12 volt fuses, 12 volt DC, and then they're all labeled, right? So that's where the 12 volt comes from. Also, this is a battery tender, so it'll sense how much energy, as long as you're plugged into shore power, It'll sense how much energy your battery up front needs, and it will uh, keep it charged. So um, when you're pulling down the road, your tow vehicle will charge the alternator. Or, I mean, excuse me, the tow vehicle's alternator will charge the battery. And then when you're plugged in, this uh, power converter will charge it. Okay. There we go. And this is your, your LP gas detector right here. It should always be green. If not, get it serviced. Okay. You also have a, a crank antenna up here, so you crank that up, and make sure you always crank it down before you leave the campground, and if you, you can pull down on this disc and rotate it, when you do, make sure you, when you're done, you line these two, these two pointers up, so it lays on the roof on, uh, lays on the roof in the proper position, so keep that in mind also. Okay. Bathroom is pretty self-evident. Always keep this latched. Always. You don't want it because if you don't, it, they'll slam. The doors will slam, and eventually they'll break. If you, but if you keep that latch, they will they'll never break. Um, the toilet works like a typical RV toilet. When you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water. You put a dose of chemical right in the bowl. That's the flush pedal here. Then you'll stand on the flush pedal long enough to put at least a gallon of water along with the chemical into the black tank below, then it's ready to be used. If you don't do that, uh, it'll get clogged up for sure and it'll smell terrible. So you always want your chemical and at least a gallon of water in there before you use it. That's after it's been flushed. Alrighty, so uh, just more. There's another slide out control here and uh, your lights and a slide out lock actually. Um, this I'm sure is telling us that this is pre-wired for a second air conditioner. If that's what this is about. It's a 50 amp system and that, that's why. So if you ever wanted to add a second AC it would pop right in here. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. Your bed has storage underneath. Here there's a folding chair also. back down uh, this is your uh, this is a, a carbon monoxide detector let me see if it's actually working yeah that's a, a CO detector and of course you always uh, you always want to have these latched when you're traveling to so that they don't slam shut just more storage okay alrighty so I think that might cover it here smoke detector here Okay, so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Uh, please remember what I said about um, you can go up on the roof and inspect it occasionally to make sure there's been no damage by 
caused by low branches or anything like that. Um, right now this is dewinterized. It's, it's in camping mode, so it's set for the summer. Just remember to winterize it when the, once the weather gets cold, okay? Um, other than that, thank you very much, and we'll, when you come to pick up, if you have any more questions, we'll go over it with you, okay? Thank you.